Welcome to Let's Cook It everyone. Today we're making coconut milk pudding. Yes, it's light and a refreshing dessert. And how I made this one, let me show you. I'm gonna begin with coconut milk, corn starch, and let's mix it together. I wanna make sure no corn starch lump left. The cornstarch and the coconut milk ready. Milk, so I'm pulling half and half, half coconut milk and half milk. Sugar, vanilla extract, and I'm adding here some rose water. You can buy it from any Middle Eastern store. And we're gonna mix everything together again till the sugar all dissolved. You're probably asking yourself why I put all the ingredients at the same time because it's gonna stick in the bottom of the pot. Today I'm gonna show you a super easy way not to worry about this unpleasant brown crust in the bottom of the pot. So today we're doing the double boiler. So any pot you have, put about two inch water, bring it to boil and put this on top. Make sure the bowl won't touch the water and always use stainless steel bowl. It's better because it's thin and the thinner it is, the faster your pudding will thicken up. Stir occasionally. As soon as you see the edges start thicken up a little bit, that means it's almost ready to go. So now you keep stirring. You don't want lumps in it. Perfect. Now it's ready to go. Turn off the stove. And finally, I'm gonna add a little bit butter. Whisk it till the butter completely melt. And butter, when you add it at the end in any pudding, it gives you the glossy look, which is shiny. Perfect. And I'm using here 9 inch non-stick pie plate. Even if it's non-stick, I don't take a chance. I gave it a quick cooking spray. So all the pudding in. Little tappy tap to get rid of all the air bubble inside and ready to go in the fridge for at least three hours. But before that, you're gonna let it rest for 20 minutes or so to reach a room temperature before you put it in the fridge. By the time we're waiting for the uh, coconut milk pudding to cool down, we're gonna toast some shredded coconut here. Unsweetened coconut, shredded coconut. Now on the medium low heat, make sure medium low heat or a low heat, so you can see here, it starts changing colors. And the most important, always use heat resistant spatula. So it can take the heat, no problem. Perfect, that's more than enough to me. So turn off and you're gonna transfer it to a different plate to cool down. If you keep them in the frying pan, they keep cooking, then they'll burn. And Mr. Coconut Milk Pudding, it's ready to go. When it reaches room temperature, I cover it with the saran wrap so the top won't dry out. Any plates you have, put it upside down and flip. Oh, it's already loose. Look at that beauty. We're gonna finish it up with toasted coconut. And let's cut a slice and try it out. And for the toppings, I leave it up to you to choose your favorite. How I eat my milk pudding, I put some sliced banana, more toasted coconut, and let's dig in. And as always, all yours to enjoy, and we'll see you next time.